brought to you by Sustainable Taranaki. Uh, my name is Dee Turner from Kurito Education um, and today I'm going to show you how to put together a worm farm. Um, probably the, the cheapest one you'll, um, you'll ever make, probably just cost you a couple of bucks. And uh, we're going to make it from some tyres, a bit of corrugated iron, um, a plastic bin lid and some bricks um, and a coffee sack. So to start with, um, we're going to place our bricks, one, two, three, four, five, six, put those up right. Um, we're going to take the piece of corrugated, put it on top, so put the coffee sack on top. The reason we're using the corrugated is because we... Um, we want the worm juice when it comes out to come straight down the middle and go into a container um, like so. Um, next we're going to take um, a tyre, placing it on top of the corrugated, just bed it in nicely so it's um, safe and then we're going to fill it with some crunched up newspaper. So here's some I prepared earlier. So we're going to push this into um, the tyre all the way around. This is going to be the bedding uh, for the worms. And um, it's a really good thing to do with children um, to get them interested in the worm farm. And um, you'll probably need a few newspapers to do this and really push in the newspaper so that it's packed in there pretty tightly. So nice and tightly packed in. Next thing we're going to do is to put some food in here and um, the best food that we can put in is some sort of um, animal manure. Um, so I have used um, horse and uh, I've actually already mixed my worms in with it. So um, this is my horse manure um, with my worms mixed in um, and I can just start piling on kitchen waste and um, watering now and again, depending on how much um, wet materials I put in here. Um, if I want to create a bigger worm farm, um, I just put on another tyre. So here's a, another stuffed tyre um, that's been prepared. And you can just keep going up. I think the biggest one that I've done has been about five tyres. And uh, really good for... Um, yeah, really starting to break down a lot of uh, your kitchen waste. Um, when, you've, when you've actually got right the way up to a third one or a fourth one, um, you can start pulling them off and taking this bottom one out and that will be full of vermicast that you can use for the garden. And you can pick up your verma juice on the other side on a daily basis, just watering it down to the colour of wheat tea and putting it on your garden. To finish off this one, we're just going to just use a bin lid. Um, this is one that I picked up for a dollar um, in an op shop. You might, if it gets windy, want to put a brick or something on top of that. And um, in the summertime, put it in a nice shady place. In the winter time, it's going to need a bit um, of shelter, um, just so that not too much um, water gets into it. And, um, and that's complete. So a worm farm for almost nothing at all. Thanks.